Today's video is sponsored by Mizen. So I just got done making fast food burgers, but vegan, and I felt that something might have been a little bit left out, and that happens to be the McDonald's fish filet sandwich. Today, I wanted to see if I can make the McDonald's fish filet sandwich, but I wanted to make this really easy. No crazy ingredients. I see the comments. You all want some regular recipes sometimes. So just like I've done in the past, we're gonna be upgrading some store-bought plant-based meats. Today, we're gonna upgrade the Gardein fishless filets these little guys right here, and we're gonna turn them into McDonald's filet o fish sandwich. This is gonna be really easy, fairly quick, and I really think you all are gonna really enjoy it. So the Guardian package comes with six of their fishless filets. We're gonna go ahead and turn those six into three of the square McDonald's patties. Uh, I'll show you how to kind of like combine them together and give them a little bit more of that Mickey D's taste. So let's get moving. This one's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so the very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna allow your fish filets to Thaw. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna be removing the breading. Now you could do this just by like slicing it off. I want as fairly clean pieces as I can get. It's gonna make it a heck of a lot easier to put it together to make one better piece or one bigger piece, like I should say. Okay, so now that we have our fish fillets with the Gardein uh, coating removed, we need to make these into square patties. So we're gonna turn these six into three. All we need for that is some tapioca starch. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of tapioca starch. And I have some hot tap water. I have about two cups. I don't know if we're gonna need all of this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make like a slurry, a tapioca starch slurry. It's really not taking that much. What we're gonna do is take two of our Guardian Filets, they're gonna be opposite sides, and we're gonna put them together kind of like Legos. We're gonna dip a little bit into the slurry, kind of set them over top of each other, and then press together. And we're gonna try our best to make a nice square patty. And then that looks pretty good. We're gonna be using some parchment paper, and we're just gonna individually wrap these guys up. Then all we're gonna do is just wrap these guys up, throw them in the freezer for just a little bit. These are fairly small, fairly thin. They shouldn't take long to firm up. While we're waiting for everything to freeze, I want to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Mizen. Mizen believes that better tools make for better cooking experiences and meals, and I 100% agree with that. And any cook or chef knows that one of the most important tools in your kitchen is your chef's knife. Mizen sent me their chef's knife, and I am telling you, I am loving this thing. It has a unique sloped handle for easier and safer chopping. Mizen knives are made from premium materials like high-grade stainless steel that helps them stay sharper longer and last a lifetime. A lot of these places make it really confusing. They put a lot of marketing into their knives. They try to find things to make their higher prices more appealing, but Mizen has removed all of that marketing jargon and just made it easy to pick out an incredibly good chef's knife. And I'm telling you, Everyone's loving this thing. It's universally loved. It has over 5,000 five-star reviews from pro chefs and from amateur cooks and people just like me here on YouTube. I've been using it in the kitchen for just about everything lately. Monica and I made a veggie bowl last night out of this world good, but there was a lot of chopping and slicing that had to be done. And I'm telling you, the Mise knife did it all. It completed every single task. I didn't need to pull out another knife, the entire cook. So make sure you head over to Mise.co slash sauce stash to get 20% off of your first order. That is M-I-S-E-N dot C-O slash Sawstash to get 20% off of your first order. Thanks, Mizen, for sponsoring today's video. I am super stoked about this knife. Thank you. Okay, so while we're waiting for our fish fillets to firm up, let's make ourselves some tartar sauce. You just need some vegan mayo. This is gonna be a vegan tartar sauce, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be better than regular tartar sauce. We're gonna do a quarter cup of vegan mayo. We're gonna mince up some sweet pickles. We need about two tablespoons. Um, you could do a little extra if you want. We need a small amount of minced onion. I'm talking like a, a teaspoon or two. We're gonna do a teaspoon of plant-based milk. I'm gonna use Ripple, which is like a pea protein milk. You don't need much, just enough to like kind of thin it out. We're gonna mince a few capers if you have them. If not, you can leave these out. And then lastly, just a touch of dried parsley. Not much. Touch of lemon juice. And you could do a touch of sugar, but I'm gonna be using some agave, just a little bit. Let's mix this guy up, and we should have ourselves a delicious vegan tartar sauce. Let's give this a taste. That's it. Let's throw this in the fridge, let all these flavors mingle up. Let's fry ourselves some fish filet 
patties to finish off the sandwich. So to nail down our fish fillet breading, we're gonna be using some egg replacer. For this one, I'm gonna be using the uh, Bob's Red Mill egg replacer. This works really well when you pretty much just need like egg white. That's what we're gonna be doing here. So we just need about one tablespoon of the egg replacer with about two tablespoons of water. Now we're gonna probably gonna need more. I'm gonna do about a ta two, ta two and a half tablespoons really. Let's whisk this together. Make sure we have a nice egg white. And like I said, we probably needed some more water. I'm just gonna add just a touch more. In this mixture, we wanna add just a touch of black pepper, a touch of salt, and I'm talking like half of a teaspoon, not much. We're gonna do just a few drops of lemon juice, and then about two tablespoons flour. Let's mix this mixture up. It should get fairly thick. Now all we want is just some of our plant-based milk. We're just gonna slowly pour this in, whisking it in to kind of thin out this mixture until we have almost like a waffle batter consistency. It doesn't take a whole lot. And that's it for the wet part of the batter. Let's go ahead and get some oil in a skillet. We're gonna heat that oil up, get it real hot, then we're gonna batter and coat our fillets. This is awesome, I can't wait. Okay, the fish patties are ready to roll. These guys are frozen fairly well. We're heating the skillet up. We're just gonna get that fairly hot. I have some just plain breadcrumbs. Let's throw those in a bowl. We need a decent amount. We're gonna take our mostly frozen fish fillets. Now these aren't, I'm like saying mostly frozen. They're frozen fairly solid, but they're not 100%. We're gonna just drop these into the wet mix mixture and then put them in your breadcrumb mixture. And then we're gonna take this over to the frying pan and drop them in the frying pan and fry them until they're golden brown. It shouldn't take that long. <laughs> these fillets look wonderful. It's exactly what I was looking for. Perfectly McDonald's-esque fish filet. Blah. Let's build this up. So on the McDonald's fish filet, they use a half of a slice of American cheese. We're gonna be using the BioLife cheddar cheese. It's the closest that I could really find. And we're gonna be doing the annoying half slice on this as well. Let's do our hot filet patties topped with a nice spoonful of tartar sauce. And then there it is. The beautiful, I mean, look at that. The fish filet, the tartar sauce looks perfect. The cheese, the fish itself looks perfect. Perfect. Let's give it a try, baby. Do you wanna try the McDonald's fish filet with me? Yeah. Okay, baby, cheers. cheers Boom, bro. tartar sauce. That's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Like that's wildly unbelievable. It's so good, it's the shiz. Can I say that? Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. Mm. I mean, that's like dead on to a fish filet sandwich. Mm -hmm. I wanna show really quick, look at this. Look at the filet and how much that comes out like fish. I mean, it's, it's flaky, it's super flaky. It really does taste like fish. I'll be honest, Gardein nailed these fish, these fish filets. Mm. If you change up the breading on them, like we did here, you have yourself a winner. That is fabulous. Thanks again to Misen for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you head over to Misen.co slash sauce dash to get 20% off of your first order. You're beautiful. Upgraded Gardein.